Hey everyone, it's Tracy. Today we're making a square pumpkins fall decor project. Just play along with me because as my nine-year-old pointed out that they're actually rectangles and so um, I am calling them square pumpkins. So just play along. Okay, what I'm starting with is um, two 8 by 10 canvases and uh, one I just turned um, sideways. And then I have an 11 by 14 canvas that I'm going to make with for the bigger one. Okay, these are the papers that I selected. I wanted something that was a little bit bright and not um, real, like, because I'm going to distress them th myself with um, some ink and, you know, markers and all that, what I like to do. So I am just kind of figuring out where I'm going to put the papers. I'm going to line them up where the circles match. I don't have a big enough sheet of paper because these papers are 12 by 12 so I'm just going to line them up and once I embellish them by inking and, and putting markers and you know gluing all the embellishments it really is okay. Okay I have the bottom layer of decoupage on there and so I'm just adding my uh, first layer of paper onto my large pumpkin and this is the one with the circles where the paper is not quite big enough so I am just putting half on there and then I'll have to take my other paper and lay it on the other half. What I did is I took my scraper and I just smooth it out uh, the best way that I can and if I get some creases in the paper I'm really okay with that because um, I think that it just adds some character and dimension texture to my project and so now I'm trying to figure out which way I had my circle so I eventually will get it. Okay, now I have my second pumpkin. This is an 8 by 10 canvas, and I just have the striped paper that I'm going to add onto this pumpkin, or to make it into a pumpkin. So I'm just adding the paper. This one I don't have any problems with um, having to figure out how I'm going to put it on there because it just fits this canvas nicely. To get it to uh, attach to the back, I am just taking my scissors and just making some notches down one of the sides and then the other side, and I'm just going to bend it over, kind of like you're just wrapping a gift. Okay, now I'm just putting a top layer of decoupage all over the pumpkin um, so it will seal the paper and give me the um, base that I need to do some embellishment, some distressing, and inking. Okay, for the third pumpkin, I am just choosing an orange and white chevron pattern and just doing the same thing, just decoupaging it and going to attach it um, the same way. I could also have painted these pumpkins um, or canvases, but I just wanted to add the different colors of paper. Okay, what I'm going to do now is paint the stems. I'm just sticking with my square pumpkins. I have these little, they're like one inch pine wood blocks. and. Um, what I have, they're different sizes. When I was doing wood crafts years ago and we would cut out, you know, patterns and stuff, we would have all of this like extra wood scraps. And so my awesome husband, what he would do is he would cut those scraps into squares, rectangles, whatever he could get out of them. And then he would just bring them 
um, you know, to me and, and just put them in my box. And so then if I wanted to use them for like projects like this or, you know, to paint them for, with little inspir inspirational words on them, then I would just have them. So I thought this would be great to stick with the theme of the square pumpkins to have square stems. Okay, my um, square canvases are all dry and it's time to start putting them together to get the look of the actual decor piece that I am looking for. And y'all stick with me. Um, I had this idea in my head and I'm like, I know that I can make it work. So now I'm just pulling out my brown Gelato, and I'm just going to go around all the edges and I'm going to distress them with my brown Gelato. I'm just dipping my fingers in water and that is what's giving me the the um, wetness so that I can move the Gelato around the paper so that it gives me the distressed look. Okay, now I'm going to pull out my Tattered Angels yellow gold spray and I'm just going to spray each of the pumpkins with it so that it just kind of gives it, you know, just some, some continue with the distressing and just kind of, you know, making these, just softening up this paper. This is just really the look that I was going for, um, just where those papers are not so bright, so just subduing them a little bit. Okay, then taking the Coffee Shop Distressed Tattered Angels spray, I'm just going to spray each of the pumpkins with that color as well. I want to do some more inking around the edges, so I just took my heat tool and just dry that up a little bit and just inking around with some brown ink. Okay, now what I'm doing is I have my little hand sander and I am just roughening up the edges of the pumpkins, just going around and just sanding them. It exposes a little bit of the wood and it just kind of gives it, I just like the look of that and so that's why I am just taking it and rubbing it across all of the edges. I take a tack free cloth and uh, rub it across all of the blocks to get all of the dust and little particles off of the projects. Okay, I like to add a layer of gloss, uh, a gloss sealer to my um, finished products. And so that's what I'm doing is I am just adding a layer of gloss sealer on um, each of the pumpkins and the stems. Okay, now I'm going to glue on the stems, the wooden stems to the canvas, and I'm using a combination of E6000 glue as well as hot glue. I like the E6000 for projects like this because it holds really well and the hot glue helps set it immediately. Okay, now I'm just putting uh, my pumpkins together, figuring out where I want them all to be placed. And so I'm just using some hot glue and some E6000. And um, also I'm going to um, pull out my staple gun, my electric staple gun. I love this thing. It is an Easy Fire by Craftsman. I get it at Sears. Um, and just stapling that canvas because canvas has that wood, you know, around the the 
you know what the canvas is attached to and so stapling it together um, is just a way to keep everything together it just really secures it together so I just love that Okay, so I'm looking at my pumpkins and I'm like, it's missing something. Yes, it's missing the ridges of the pumpkin. So I um, should have done this at the very beginning, um, giving it, you know, those ridges of the pumpkin. I'm just using my brown gelato again. And uh, if you copy this project, I would suggest doing this before you put your trio of pumpkins together so that you won't have to fight with it just like I am. So um, I'm just giving it the look of the pumpkins and I'm just going to you know wet my finger to kind of make that gelato um, wet and so, you know so that I can move it around on the actual paper. Okay, now I'm going to add some more dimension and texture and I'm going to get my black Sharpie marker and just go around defining all of those edges, defining the ridges in the pumpkin. I like to use a thick black Sharpie marker as well as an ultra fine thin one. Okay, we're going to put the finishing touches on these pumpkins and so what I have here is an ivy garland and I like to use these on my projects I really like to use all kind of different realistic faux stuff on my projects and uh, this has um, like a wire in it and so you can kind of um, you can kind of move it around and twist it and and just get it to look like more of a vine so I really like the way that uh, this ivy um, does on the project. So I'm just going to get my snippers. Okay, depending on how much you want um, on your pumpkin, I'm just going to cut some sections. start with this one and sometimes what I like to do is um, you know just kind of wrap them around just kind of give it some formation and this wood on the on the canvas is a great place to um, actually start securing it now I'm going to add some other embellishments and I'm going to use my favorite staple gun uh, to staple the ivy to the wood and I'm going to do that in several places so that it will hold it down. Oops, I need to add some more staples. Okay, so I'm just going to just kind of spread it out where I can get a good staple on there. And once I add some other embellishments, some ribbon, raffia, that kind of thing, it is not going to show these silver little staples. Okay, now I'm going to layer some pieces of ribbon, burlap, muslin fabric, um, some different colors of orange rickrack, and I'm just going to layer those up together to, to make a messy junk bow. And uh, it's just a way to kind of use up your scraps or just to make um, just a little extra bow, your project have a little more, you know, character. And so I'm just trying to figure out here what I, what all the little bows and ribbons that I like. I'm singeing the edges of that rickrack so that it doesn't fray anymore. And so I'm just um, securing it all together right now, just kind of trimming off the edges. And then I'm, I'm thinking it needs something a little bit more. So I have this tool that is got like a gold glitter in it. It doesn't really come off, 
but um, I've decided to add that to kind of give it a little more uh, like some softness to it I really like the way that it just adds that little extra touch to my uh, my junk bow this is a really good way to get rid of your you know ends of ribbon and and just you know ribbon that you didn't have enough to make a bow so you know just keep keep that in your craft room a place for that where you can go ahead and have that for projects like this okay here are what I call my junk bows for um, my pumpkins and it was just referred to oh gosh somebody online called them junk bows they just put a whole bunch of like pieces of fabric together ends of ribbon ends of fabric that kind of thing anyway I really like the way that the tool softens up the bow and I am going to put them onto my pumpkins and then I will show you how the finished project looks Okay, now I'm going to add some Stiffen Quick. It is a stiffener for ribbon and uh, or for fabric or anything. But I like to use this on my bows that uh, are ribbon or like this fabric is a little limp. And so that it kind of gives it some formed formation. And uh, I really like the way that turns out. So thanks for watching. I hope that you've enjoyed my square, a.k.a rectangle pumpkins um, for fall and uh, if you like this project please give me a thumbs up leave me a comment let me know what you think about it or if you're going to try it I would love to see a picture and um, subscribe to my channel if you haven't I would love to have you anyway happy fall everyone and thanks for watching